In September 2016, the USA election was really heating up. And thanks to the World Wide Web, the world was watching very closely. People in every country wished they could vote for the next leader of the free world. One confused American citizen decided he would take action and ask the world who would be the best USA president. Using advanced technology, he hosted WorldVotesForUSAPresident.com. This man also was a silly man with an odd sense of humor. He said he was going to blast himself off in a rocket ship to the moon, look back at the whole world, listen to their worldwide vote tally, and cast his U.S. citizen vote for the winner. And this he did. First, he reached out to a team of Netherlands web developers who built the worldwide vote. Then he got help from businessmen in the Middle East. He paid some India racket for tech support and even asked an ex-Navy man to help him with polling advice. And since this man had lived in Cairo, Egypt during the revolution and had an MBA in international business, he knew that the world wished to have their voice heard. He asked these internationals to spread the word, and they did. He trained for his historic journey to be the first man to vote from the moon. And he got a space helmet in his price range. He watched the world go crazy, and he did not go crazy with it. The U.S. is 4.4% of the world's population. The U.S. has 20.3% of the world's wealth. The world cared fiercely about the outcome of the USA election. In the end, 439,573 world citizens voted over the whole month leading to election day, and there was a winner. Early on that historic election day of November 8, 2016, he voted. Hillary Clinton was far ahead in the USA polls, yet 56% of the participants in his hosted world election had picked Donald Trump. So, this man solemnly kept his promise, and he was certain he had disappointed the world. Then the USA election unfolded, and the outcome was the same, Donald Trump. So he said, shut up world, and be happy. Today this man says the moon is nice, maybe he'll stay there a while. Because the world's gone crazy. Don't go crazy with it. Right, Donald?